Hello friends, in this video let's talk about what is workbench in MySQL. It is one of the important interface for MySQL developers. It's a developer friendly tool. It's a developer friendly graphical user interface or graphical interface graphical interface for the developer to develop complex queries to create a database to do the server configuration to do the administration user administration I mean or you can do the data inserts data updates data deletes or you can observe the data it's a really useful tool for the mysql developers or mysql administrators so it's available in all the operating systems i mean it's available in windows it's available in linux it's available in Mac. So if you go for a complete installation while doing MySQL server on your computer, you get this workbench. Otherwise, if you unselect this workbench option, you don't get this in your uh, installation. It's separately available in authorized MySQL website. There you can easily download for free of cost. It's available in both the operating systems 32 bit as well as 64 bit. So let me go to the MySQL website where I can show you uh, uh, from where you have to download. So this is authorized MySQL uh, website. So there you need to go to downloads. So once you click on downloads, so there you can see uh, this uh, screen. So in this, if you scroll little down, so there is a MySQL community downloads, GPL downloads. Let's click on it. So once you click on it, you get a many options here. So if you want a community server, you can download from here. If you want cluster, router, shell, operator and workbench. So if you click on it, so it will be redirected to a place where you can download the workbench. And apart from this, you have many other connectors as well in the same page as well as direct installer for Windows and even Visual Studio for MySQL as well. So for time being, let's click on MySQL Workbench. So once you click on MySQL Workbench, you redirect it to this page where general availability releases. So there you have a workbench of 8.0.29 and you have an option like a select the operating system. So as I mentioned, it's available in Windows, Linux, uh, Fedora, Mac OS and even you can see the source code as well. So here and there you have my SQL installer for Windows, it's complete and like here you can see Windows 32-bit uh, x86 and 64-bit MSI installer uh, with of 42.9 uh, uh, megabytes. You can click on download and once you click on download, so it, it redirected to this page. So there you have a login as well as sign up. So so if you have an existing Oracle web account, you can use this or like if you want to go for a new account, uh, you can go for it. Otherwise, you do not need to have a, an account on this website to download. At the bottom, you have no thanks, just start my download. So once you click on it, like it, it will be uh, downloaded and later you can do the installation. So this is a place where you get the MySQL workbench. So let's uh, come back to the, um, the uh, points now. So here, First of all, like, so is it my SQL workbench is enough to practice or to work? No, it's a kind of client for us. It's a kind of client. So you need a original MySQL server somewhere in the network or somewhere in your system itself to connect and to work. It's a kind of interface to work, to write the queries or to create the databases. That's it. The original place where to store the uh, databases and all should have a server. So that server compulsory required uh, for the uh, workbench to work. So now uh, as a kind of prerequisite I am talking about. So you need compulsory MySQL server. server. 
so to connect from a um, connect from workbench to work next so what are all the things you can do with mysql server uh, mysql workbench so you can do the as i mentioned you can do the querying you can do the administration you can do the several activities so let me list down what are all the activities you ideally do in your uh, real life so first of all ideally as a part of um, of regular life we do the sql development sql query development or sql um, uh, like a uh, manipulation data manipulations so next one is data modeling So we'll talk about individually uh, in the later uh, videos. So I, I'm talking about very high level data modeling. So how, how the data has to link in between the tables and all kind of ER diagrams, uh, uh, kind of uh, like um, uh, uh, engineering you can do, uh, data engineering and all you can do it. So next one is administration, server administration I'm talking about. Server administration. So the next one is data migration. Data migration. So these are all uh, the uh, functionalities. These are all kind of responsibilities you can handle using these uh, MySQL Workbench. So in what are all the versions I can uh, see the Workbench. So Workbench uh, kind of um, editions. So the first version is free version. Okay, so you can download from an authorized MySQL website and you can practice or you can make use of it. Okay, so it is having a couple of limitations on the features. So that is called as community edition, so which I showed you in the website. That's a community edition. So it 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 it, it uh, supports uh, like a majority of features, but yes. So in couple of scenarios in the real time you need the the next versions so the next version is um, a standard version standard edition i am talking about standard edition so it's having uh, some more facilities than free version or like a kind of uh, um, uh, let me add here uh, it's a cost of to cost play it's kind of um, not free i mean so not free so it's, it's having uh, some extra features when you compare with the community edition. We'll talk about the comparison as well. The next version is even, even more costlier. Even more costlier, it is kind of enterprise edition. It's a kind of uh, enterprise edition. So we, we, we see the majority differences between um, this community standard and enterprise as we are paying uh, for a standard or enterprise you will get more extra facilities so those we'll talk about one by one so this is what we call it as a, a workbench so hope you understand um, the purpose of workbench and all so in the next video i'll talk about how to connect to the workbench how to make how to make use of workbench in doing a sql development or data modeling and so on so not only this if you have any questions on rtbms so please drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible so also follow me on facebook for more uh, uh, technical uh, videos thank you thank you for watching